How is he? Is he okay? His condition is not critical, Miss Gale. While his injuries are not minor, there is nothing that will endanger his life. He has bruised ribs, a fractured arm, a large laceration on the top of his head, and a concussion. Are you sure? Why isn't he waking up? I am sure, ma'am. We performed a CT scan and there is no indication of brain swelling caused by the blow. He is just under anesthesia. He should be waking up soon. Oh, thank heavens. Hmm, I can hear people talking. One of them is Samantha. Who's that other person? What happened to me? Did I get hurt or something? Oh, right. That bastard tried to break my skull. Hey, guess he didn't manage to kill me after all. Weird. I'm not hurting at all. In fact, I feel kinda. Good, must be the painkillers. Either that or my head got smacked so hard I can't feel anything anymore. Shit, I need to check right now. Messed up arm, fuck. It hurts but I can move it. Ha, huh. good thing I'm right handed. This won't mess up my daily solo routine. Wait, if it was my right hand that got fucked, I could have asked one of the girls to help me with that. What a waste. Bandaged head, skull seems intact. Sometimes it pays to have a hard head. Large laceration was it? Guess it's a fancy way of saying I got a nasty cut. Hope this gives me a mean looking scar. Yeah. Something tough and manly looking. The ladies would just be lining up. They'd be like, hey, stud, how'd you get that scar? And then I'd go, fought off a hulking bike or a dude from harassing a lady. I'll just keep the fact that it was the lady who beat the guy and saved my sorry ass a secret. And are you sure there won't be any complications from his injuries? It looked so dreadful. Yes, ma'am. I am quite certain the blow to the head was not severe enough to cause permanent damage. But there was a lot of blood. I understand, ma'am, but scalp wounds tend to bleed profusely. That is normal. Who's this? The doc, I guess. Wow, she's kinda cute. And tiny. Hey, hey, it's an Asian Emily. Hee hee hee. How old is she? She looks like she could be 15, for Pete's sake. But they do say Asians tend to look young no matter the age. I have the same damn problem. Just the other way around. No one ever believes me when I say I'm 19. They always say, dude, you gotta be at least 30. Man, I think the drugs are making me loopy. My mind just keeps rambling nonsense. Ah, uh, there. You see, it seems he is awake. Oh, Ron. You scared me to death. After I went back to check on you and found you unconscious, I didn't know what to think. You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did, and there was so much blood. I'm so sorry this happened. It's all my fault. I'm supposed to take care of you kids not get you into situations like these. And I am definitely not supposed to let you get hurt. Just look at you. Oh, you poor thing. How are you feeling? Does it hurt? Are you in pain? Um, excuse me, Miss Gale. If you do not mind I would like to examine the patient, now that he is awake. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. Doctor, please excuse me. My, how embarrassing. Acting all emotional like this at my age. It's fine. Ma'am, you have just been through a terrible experience, and someone you care about has been injured in the process. I completely understand. Hello, Mr. Ron Jones. My name is Shio Kunieta. I am your resident physician. Hi, Doc. I'm Ron, but seems you already know that. Yes. And I hope you don't mind if I call you Ron? Of course not. Never liked my last name anyway. Well, I will examine you now, 
Ron, just to make sure everything is okay. Won't hurt, right? Oh, not at all. It is just a basic assessment test, just to see if you have suffered any lasting effects from your head injury. Now, I would like you to try and follow the light with your eyes, but keep your head as still as possible. Good. How did that feel? Any headaches or nausea? No. Other than being blinded by that just now, I feel fine. Sorry about that. What about your memory? What can you remember about what happened? This a test too? Yes. I remember pretty much all of it. There was the spiker looking guy harassing Samantha. I tried to stop him and we fought. After that he pulled a stick out of nowhere and started beating me with it. Fucked up my arm, and I thought he fucked up my head too. Probably would have done just that if Samantha hadn't jumped on him like a fucking warrior queen and saved my butt. Wrong language. Sorry, but I stand by what I said. You were amazing. Seriously, you should have seen her, Doc. She snuck up behind him like some sort of ninja assassin. How she managed that while wearing heels I'll never know. I took them off first, silly. And then just started bashing his head in with this huge toilet paper box thing. Dispenser. It's called a dispenser. And I'm not talking about those itty bitty toilet paper dispenser you see in most restrooms. This thing was massive, and made of metal, and it was like this big. He he he, man, it was so satisfying to watch. Wow, that does sound amazing. You were very brave, Miss Gale. Please, call me Samantha. And I wasn't brave at all, I was like a scared little girl in fact, crying my eyes out, but I couldn't just stand by and watch, while someone was hurting one of my kids. Especially when that kid was trying so hard to save me. Not hard enough. He beat the crap out of me, Samantha, remember? You tried, didn't you? You could have just left me and ran, but you didn't. You stayed and tried your hardest to get him off me. If it weren't for you, I don't know what would have happened to me. No, actually I do know. He would have followed through on every single one of his threats. So trust me when I say this, you did save me from that bastard. Maybe, but I still think I fucked that up. Seriously, I was kinda lame. Somebody like Louise probably would have KO'd that idiot in one shot. Sigh. I need to man up and get built. Either that or stop getting into fights I can't win. Don't make that face, honestly. I'm proud of you. He was clearly a dangerous man, bigger and stronger than you, but you didn't back down. So you haven't a single reason to make such a sour face. You did great. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks, Samantha. You know just what to say to make a guy feel less sorry for himself. So, Doc, we done with the test? Yes, we are almost done. I just need you to hold my hand and try to squeeze it as hard as you can. Really? Are you sure? I don't want to accidentally hurt you. Don't worry about me, Ron. I will be just fine. I am not as delicate as I look. Her hands are tiny. I'm worried I'm gonna crush it if I squeeze too hard. Feels nice though. Soft. Go ahead please, Ron. Go ahead and do what? Oh, right. The hand squeeze thing. Damn it, lady, don't say it that way while holding my hands like that. Sigh. Stop being an idiot, dude. And let's get this done. Um, Mr. Ron Jones, is something wrong? Ron. Well, I guess you're just fine if you're feeling well enough to flirt. Now, stop that, and apologize to the poor doctor. You can't just mess with every cute girl you see, Ron. 
Try to to see if she's interested in you first. Right, doctor? Ma'am. Please. You'll have to excuse him. He hasn't had a lot of contact with the opposite sex. Well, she's right. I don't have a lot of experience with girls, but I don't think I said anything wrong, did I? I mean, your hands are nice and soft and small and cute. Wrong. That's enough. Can't you see you're embarrassing the poor doctor? I apologize once again, doctor. I don't know what to do with this boy anymore. This much is okay. I, um, I don't really mind. Yeah. You get it, right? I don't think I did or said anything bad. No, I guess you said some nice things, so... Thank you, but if you don't mind, Ron, I would really like you to continue with the test now. Sure, Doc, anything you say. Hee <laughs> hee, for an adult and a full-fledged doctor, she sure does get embarrassed easily. It seems your grip strength is somewhat weak. Are you sure you're trying your best? You really want me to squeeze as hard as I can? Yes, Ron. That is what I have been asking since the start. You're the boss. Uh, Sorry. No, this is good. This is exactly what I wanted you to do. Well, you do not seem to be suffering any weakness from the blow. I am satisfied with that. You can. Let go now. Sure, Doc. So, Dr. Kunida, is he going to be okay? He should be fine. I am not seeing any lasting effects from his head injury. We will keep him under observation for a day. If nothing comes up, he should be able to go home tomorrow. That's great. Did you hear that, Ron? Isn't that wonderful news? She says you're going to be just fine, and you even get to come home tomorrow. That guy didn't mess up my ear, Samantha. I can hear just fine. Yeah, that's great. But, Doc, do I really have to stay overnight? I feel completely okay. Yes. You have to. I am not expecting anything to happen. Every indication say that you are fine. But just to be safe, we will keep you under observation for at least one day. What's wrong? Not looking forward to staying the night? Don't worry. We'll get Emily to stay here with you and keep you company. She can watch over you and call the nurse if you get sick or something. I'm sure she'll cook up and pack something nice for you too so you don't have to eat hospital food. Oh, no offense, doctor. Doesn't that sound nice? Shit, Emily staying the night with me? That doesn't just sound nice. That sounds fucking fantastic. Um, yeah, that sounds okay. I could use the company and Emily's a great cook. Good. That settles it then. I'll go give Emily a call right now. Doctor, would you mind watching him while I step out and make a call? I'll just take a second. Of course not, ma'am. something wrong. Doc, you look uncomfortable. If it's about what I said about your hands being nice, I didn't mean anything bad by it. Wasn't a pickup line or anything, just being honest, really. How come I don't really believe you? Cause you've got great intuition, ha ha ha. Seriously, though, I'm sorry, I sometimes just blurt out whatever I'm thinking. I thought you were really cute and the way you held my hands just made it kinda jump out. I truly didn't mean anything bad by it. If I made you feel uncomfortable, I apologize. That part about you being unused to talking to girls is not really true. Is it? You seem to be quite comfortable with it. Agonizingly so. Are you sure you are not a womanizer? 
What? Absolutely not, I swear. Cross my heart and hope not to die and all that. Until yesterday, I haven't had any contact with girls for almost half a decade. Really? Why? Ugh, I was locked up. You were in prison? No, not prison. Juvenile detention. I was in there for four years. Right now, I'm under probation and staying at a halfway house. Samantha is the caretaker, see? Oh, that is right. I heard there is a halfway house in town ran by an attractive lady. She uses this hospital for her residence medical checkups. I just did not recognize her because I do not handle those. So Miss Samantha is that lady? I can see now why she is so popular with the older male doctors. She is gorgeous. Yeah, she's amazing. Gorgeous looks and a wonderful person. What about you, Doc? I'm sure you're pretty popular with the guys too. Stop that. That is very inappropriate. If you continue to tease me like this, I am going to get very angry. Wow, she gets flustered so easily. Makes me want to mess with her more. But I should stop. I hardly know her and I absolutely do not want her to hate me. Would you mind if I sit down while we wait for Miss Gale? Knock yourself out, Doc. So, where are you from, Doc? Your accent sure doesn't sound local. I would think that my name would have given you a hint. Well, yeah, I gathered that you're Japanese but from where exactly though? Fukuoka. It is in the southwestern part of Japan. Have you heard of it? No, not really. Sorry. Well, I am not really surprised. There is nothing really special about the place, other than that we have a lot of elderly people there. In fact, we used to have the oldest living woman in Japan. She is even in the Guinness Book of World Records, I think. Wow. How old are we talking about here? She died at 116, I think. Holy crap, is that normal? Do a lot of Japanese people live that long? Haha, -ha, of course not, though we do have the largest elderly population in the world. As long as we're talking about agent stuff, I've been wondering for a while now. How old are you exactly? Cuz. Honestly, you look about my age. Please tell me you're not some kind of super genius 19-year-old doctor. Ha, huh, I get that a lot. Sometimes it is hard to even get people to take me seriously. I am actually 27 years old. Holy hell, seriously? Ha <laughs> ha, shocked. I am actually much older than you. So you really should not be flirting with me so much. You must know some beautiful girls closer to your age, yes? Yeah, I do actually. Over at the halfway house. I've just met them yesterday. This is just my second day here, see? Anyway there's this one girl, Emily. She's really cute. She's the one Samantha's calling on the phone right now. Yeah. You kinda remind me of her actually, slight build, kind, and just absolutely adorable. Yes, I am completely convinced now. You may not have much experience with girls but you are a natural when it comes to buttering them up. No way, um, really? Yes. Really, but stop trying to use your charms on me. It will not work. I am much too old for you, even if I do not look like it. It is actually very hard, you know, looking like I do. Yeah, sorry, you're right. I can see how it could be a problem in your line of work. People talking down to you all the time. Second guessing your credentials. Yes, that is it exactly. You do understand. Yeah, I kinda have that problem too, see? Except it's just the opposite of yours. No one ever believes me when I tell them my age either. They always say I got to be a couple decades older at least. Hehehe, 
I guess we do have that in common then, neither of us look our age. Ha ha ha. Ron, here, Emily wants to talk to you, she wouldn't take no for an answer, sigh. That girl can be really stubborn sometimes. Remember, Ron, this is Emily we're talking about, so don't mind her tone, she's probably just worried about you. Wow, nice phone. Wish I had one of these, better put her on speaker, with my head the way it is, don't want her to be screaming in my ear. Sob, Emily. What, you sound just fine, listening to Samantha. She made it sound like you almost died or something. Jeez, you worried me for nothing. Hey, where's your sympathy for a fellow turning pointarian? I did actually get hurt pretty bad. You know, don't you feel sorry for me? Puff, hee hee, let's play the pity card to the max and see how she reacts. Yeah, I heard from Samantha. Are you? Are you in a lot of pain? Well, not right now. I think they shot me up full of pain meds. It's making me a little loopy but at least I'm not hurting. But you should still be a little nicer to me. I mean, I got a broken arm and everything. Almost broke my head too. How about some nice words of comfort and make sure you say it in the cutest way possible. You, if you can still act like that. Then you're just fine. As for comforting you, Samantha is making me cook for you and keep you company all night too. That should be comfort enough. I'll be there later. Goodbye. Wait, wait. Hold on a second. What? Aha, uh -huh. it's funny how Emily keeps getting so flustered around you, and you too, acting like you're in grade school, teasing the girl you like. Is that it? Does Widow Ron have a crush on Widow Emily? Ha ha ha, I don't know about a crush, but I do like her. She's nice, as for the teasing part. Well, I can't really help it. It's a natural reflex. You know how sometimes when you see something cute you just gotta mess with it? It's kinda like that. Shit, me and my big goddamn mouth. Well, just don't take it too far. Emily tries to put up a strong front but the truth is she gets hurt really easily. And I don't want chaos erupting in my home because of some teenage romance drama gone wrong. But you're okay with any romances that don't go wrong? Ha ha ha, if that's your way of asking if it's okay for residents to date each other, then the answer is yes. There's no rule specifically forbidding it. Good to know. Then how about starting something with the big boss lady? Is that okay? Hee hee hee. Excuse me, ma'am. I don't mean to interrupt but, since it seems that our patient is doing more than just fine, I think it is time I get back to my duties. Oh, I'm so sorry. Of course, doctor. Thank you so much for everything and we apologize for taking up so much of your time. It's fine, Miss Gale. I mean Miss Samantha. It was nice meeting you. I will take my leave now. If anything comes up with Mr. Ron Jones, be sure to tell the nurse, and they will page me if there is a need. Otherwise, I will come by again to check up on him this evening. Of course, Dr. Cunieda, again. Thank you so much for everything. Well now, isn't she a nice girl, so young and already a doctor? How impressive. She's not as young as she looks, Samantha. Oh, and I suppose she told you this? Well, I asked. Sigh. You're as blunt and tactless as ever. One of these days, you're going to find a woman who doesn't take to your nonsense and get yourself in trouble. So, um, how old is she? Ha ha ha, after saying all that, you're dying to know too. 
of purely innocent feminine curiosity, unlike yours. He he he. Well, she said she's 27. Oh my god. Seriously? That is incredible. I wonder if there's a secret to it. How does she do it? Do you think? I don't think there's any big secret. It's all in the genes. I guess you're right. Still, it would have been wonderful if she had some special method I could steal. Hee <laughs> hee. That aside, though, I can't help but notice you were sweet talking her rather fiercely. Do you find that kind of demure, soft-spoken girl appealing? I don't know what demure means but yeah, she's cute, like I told her, she kinda reminds me of Emily. You told a girl she reminds you of someone else? Yeah, just being honest, she is kinda like Emily, all tiny and bashful and stuff, well except for the constant threats to kick people in the nuts. Sigh, don't do that, that is one surefire way to get on a lady's bad side. Especially don't do it when trying to pick up the girl. And here I thought you were doing pretty good there for a minute. Hee <laughs> hee. Seems there is a lot you still need to learn after all. Don't worry, you'll get better at it, in time. Shit, seems Samantha likes a bit of teasing from time to time too. Are you sure you're really okay? You're not putting up a front just to avoid worrying me, are you? If you're hurting make sure to tell me, okay? Calm down, Samantha. I'm fine, really. I feel pretty good considering. Don't know about later though, once the pain meds were off. Can I get you something at least? Are you hungry? I can get them to bring you some food. Nah, don't think I can eat right now. I'm really thirsty though. Right. Let me get you something to drink. Samantha, didn't you just get in trouble for exactly this sort of thing? Hmm. Let's see. I got a cut up head, a useless arm, and I just blew my load this morning. Thanks, Ashley. Question is, do I check out that irresistible vision or not? Gotta be careful though, don't want to fall and really break my head. She sure is proud of that ass, can't say I blame her though. That is one triple A tale. Ron, what on earth are you doing? Stop that right now. You're still injured, remember? Leave off that kind of thing for when you're healthy. Oh my goodness. You're literally hanging off the bed. What am I going to do with you? Is looking up my shirt that important to you? Risking falling off the bed for something so silly, I swear. You don't have an ounce of sense. You've already seen me exposed with my pants off and my shirt ripped open. Wasn't that enough? No, no, it doesn't work like that. What went on in that bathroom wasn't sexy or desirable. It was just horrible. Whatever I saw in there wouldn't satisfy anything. That show you put on just now though, that is hot. Thank you for thinking that way, Ron. But, excuse me, show? That wasn't a show, that was me bending over and my shirt riding up my butt. Now, stop being ridiculous and lie back down normally before you fall and break your neck. I'd be more than happy to give you a real performance if that's what you want but not now. You need to recover first. Then we'll talk, and I wouldn't put on a show in this dreadful thing. No offense to Eli, but this shirt of his, is hideous. Sigh. When you're done looking down my shirt, mister, sit up straight so you can have your drink. Thanks, Samantha, but I can drink it on my own. Hush up and just let me hold this for you. Hmm, she's really babying me, isn't she? Don't know how to feel about that. On one hand, it's kinda nice, but on the other, she's treating me like a kid. Well, 
a kid who likes to stare at Ha ha. Thanks, Samantha. I think the painkillers are making me thirsty so that sure hits the spot. Anything else I can get you? Hmm. How about you just take a load off and we just talk? There's a couple of things I wanna ask about. Sure thing, but first, do you think I can lower this thing? Shouldn't be too hard, right? I saw them do it when they move a Jew onto the bed. Probably, but why? Let's see now. Og oh, come on, you silly thing. Move. Ha, there we go. I knew this thing was no match for me. There a reason for that or were you just angry at it? Aha, uh -huh. of course not, silly. It's so I can do this. There now, isn't this much better? So what was it that you wanted to ask me? Time to ask her to help me fill in the blanks from the time I got knocked out. Not much other than me panicking after coming back and finding you unconscious. There was a lot of blood, I really thought the worst of it. Good thing Eli was there to help, otherwise I probably would have broken down. Speaking of Eli, what's he up to? If you're asking why he isn't here, he still has to mind the shop. Plus my car is still back there and someone has to watch over it. You rode in the ambulance with me? Of course, I did. You're my responsibility, and I was worried about you. Wow, thanks a lot, Samantha. Don't be silly. You don't have to thank me for something like that. Ah, uh, don't mention that name, please. That bastard is here, too. The police brought him, last I heard. He's downstairs in a ward under guard. Deviants like him need medical care too, I suppose. But I wish there's a different hospital in town they could take him to. Just knowing he's in the same building as me makes my skin crawl. And can you believe it? The police said that he actually made a request to see me. How absurd. What? Why? I don't know, and I don't care. I have no intention of honoring such a request. Honestly, I don't know what the police are doing listening to him like that. I've already pressed charges and, as far as I'm concerned, that ends any involvement I might have with that creep. Kinda weird though. I would think cops wouldn't allow that kind of thing, especially with sexual assault. That's right. I don't know what Officer Lee is thinking. Officer Lee? He's the officer in charge of the case. He'll probably be coming to see you too later. So make sure you press charges as well for the attack, you hear? Sure, Samantha. Thanks for worrying about me, Ron, but I'm fine for the most part. Well, it's true that it was a terrible experience and it scared me a lot. But mostly I wasn't afraid for myself. It was for you or Eli. I knew either of you would come looking before long. And knowing the two of you, you would have tried to confront him. Eli would have been hurt for sure. He's an old man and in no shape to get into any sort of altercation. Is for you. I didn't want you to get hurt either. That was what I was most afraid of. Not for myself. But I have to admit, even though I was worried for you, I was still glad when you found me. But it horrified me when you suddenly grabbed his arm and punched him. Why did you do that? You should have known he'd forget all about me and start attacking you. What was I supposed to do? He was threatening to rape you right in front of me. I couldn't just stand by and watch. Not to mention all that nasty crap about you coming out of his damn mouth. It made me furious. I have an anger issue, remember? Yes. Well. Ahem. He did say some terrible things about me, didn't he? You don't agree with him, do you? That I dress and act like a whore? That I actually wanted to be treated that way? Of course not. What I see is a confident, 
attractive lady who is comfortable enough with herself to do what she likes. Don't listen to that idiot, Samantha. He said all that shit just to make it look like what he was doing was somehow justified. Anyway, just forget about all that crap. I mean, do we really care what a goddamn rapist thinks? Hmm, it was nice of Samantha to ride in the ambulance with me. Feels wonderful to know I had someone watch over me like that. Also, that bastard Hollis is here. I wonder why he requested to see Samantha. Probably wanted to taunt her more or something. And Samantha seems to be doing okay too. Despite what happened to her, she worries about others more than herself. She's a strong lady. And, not to mention, sexy. Just look at her. Man, I love having her this close. Ha ha. Maybe I should show my appreciation for such beauty and grace. Ha, ha, what's this? Is that your way of comforting me? Don't do that. You should do cute things like that with a girl you like, not someone like me. That should make it okay then. You're a girl, you're cute, and I like you a lot. Ha ha ha, and there he goes again. Do you flirt with any woman you like? And here I thought you were a nice, innocent boy. There was that Dr. Cunha de thing just now. And you've been making eyes at me since the first time we met. Not to mention Emily. You've been teasing her a fair bit too. Uh. Please don't tell me you're messing with Ashley as well. I don't think that would be a good idea. Sigh. I never would have guessed you would turn out to be such a ladies man. Careful, though. Girls can be quite vindictive about these kind of things. Play the Romeo too much and you just might find a knife stuck to your back. Ha ha. Sure, Samantha. I'll keep that in mind. But that doesn't mean I have to stop being friendly with you, does it? Depends on what you mean by friendly. So, what, I wonder, is your exact definition of friendly in this particular case? Is it hugging me anytime you want? You've done that as I recall. How about kissing? Well, you kissed me on the cheek once. Or is it grabbing my butt whenever it takes your fancy? Such a naughty boy. You've done that too. Well, aren't you going to answer me? Um, all of the above. Oh, and are you hoping to get friendly right now, perhaps? That thought kinda crossed my mind. Excuse me, this is Officer Lee. I'm with the police. I need to talk to a Mr. Ron Jones. Can I come in? Officer Monroe from the Youth Division is here with me too. Bro, your favorite PO is here for a visit. Stop shouting Monroe. This is a hospital. Just a minute. Gosh, I hate this shirt of you lies. How do I look? Ron? Is anything unseemly exposed? Wait, I can still see you. Just a second. Miss Gale, I'm here to talk to Mr. Ron Jones like I mentioned earlier. So if you don't mind, I'd like to take care of it now. Yes, I mind. But it's not like I can stop you, can I? Just try to be quick and not stress him out too much. He's just woken up, and still needs plenty of rest to recover. And don't you dare bring up any of the nonsense about that bastard wanting to see us? That's not going to happen, you hear? Ah. Uh. Sigh, Miss Gale. I already explained this to you. Monroe. Wow, Officer Monroe actually came to see me. I'm kinda touched, still though. Another ridiculous outfit. Does he actually think that makes any kind of sense? 